All right, here is the video review for Transformers Studio Series 47 Hightower, the fourth Constructicon, making, putting us halfway to Devastator. We've got two Voyagers and two leader class figures on the way next year, uh, although one will probably show up before the end of the year at this rate, um, to give us the combined Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. At this point, we're invested, and I'm kind of curious to see how he ends up looking all put together. He is some sort of excavator crane, a uh, height, a tower crane. I'm not sure what exactly the classification for this vehicle is, but so he's got the treads. He's got like a little claw here on his uh, end of his crane. And then he, the crane can kind of go up and down. The claw can swing a little bit. I don't recommend it because due to the transformation, this clips off very easily. You can see it's not even... It's barely a full half circle. It, it's just past half of a circle. Uh, it's just enough to kind of clip on here. Uh, there's a reason for that, but it's kind of frustrating. And that's about it. He can roll around. He's got little wheels under here. You can kind of see his folded up body underneath there. And he rolls. But the turret doesn't rotate or anything fun like that. We're gonna go ahead and do arm mode first because uh, from here, it's actually a really easy shot uh, to the arm combined mode, and then we'll get into uh, the robot mode. So turn them into an arm. You untab the uh, the treads from here, so these come out a little bit, and then you bend them at this hinge, and then rotate the treads up, and these little tabs up here are going to go right into these slots here on either side of the, the robot. Like I said, it's, it's not a huge deformation here. It uh, is just enough to uh, plug them in so they sit at an angle like that. Come back here, and this is gonna be the connector joint that connects it to the, uh, the upper arm, the shoulder. Although it's more than the shoulder. More, this connects more to the bicep of Devastator from what it looks like. Come down here, lift this up, go ahead and pop this claw off. Uh, lift this up. Now the head, it comes out like this, and this is where it gets difficult because it's just a friction hinge on this piece, and at least on mine, the the this neck and headpiece does not want to stay in. You gotta kinda get up here. And that actually was the easiest it's come out since I got it, but this piece really does like to just pop right out if you push right in the middle, so uh, be aware of that. Because of the way this is shaped, it's not supported or structured at all. It's not cracked or anything, it's just how it is. Um, and you gotta snap it back in like that. But you bring this head all the way down like this, or just out like that, and then rotate his head all the way around like that. So basically, here's here's what you're looking at the arm. Bring this down. That didn't really that can come forward or not. That's a, that's entirely up to you. But bring this down. Fold this piece down. I, I tried doing it this way, and it's and that's not right. You need to bring this so it's kind of sitting down in the middle here because the forearm or the hand will only connect going in this way. If you try to do it plugging it into this side, it just doesn't work. Um, so do that. Then you take the claw and hook it over this neck hinge. As well as you can. It's not super secure. You don't get a whole lot of motion. It's basically just, just enough to clip on there and be a thumb-ish. So like this. And then, like I said, bring this down like this. Actually, leave it up a little bit because you want to get a finger behind it to really support it. And you take uh, scrap metal and you just want to get there. Again, put your finger in here to support it. You may need to bring it down a little bit, but just take this tab and connect them in. This piece is a little loose, so it can take a little bit of doing to get it all lined up and not wobbling and not coming apart while you're plugging it together. But you get it lined up, you push it in like that, and then you just kind of bring this forward. Again, you can, because of the way the hinges work, you can bring that down, bring this down as a thumb, you got the fingers, and there essentially you have the claw arm that will attach to be the left hand of Devastator. Yeah, left hand. Um, so we'll see how that works. It's, there's the combined mode. It's got some articulated fingers, a thumb that likes to pop off, and a face just kind of sitting there. Well, but there is part of the arm for Devastator. Go ahead and pop this back out. It just pulls right out. And there you go. And to continue him on to his really weird 
robot mode. Go ahead and pop that back off. And peg the treads like this. Go ahead and pop this back up here and bring his head down like that. This could fold up wherever. Bring it on. And peg. Actually, I guess you want to bring this whole assembly up first. So bring this up, get this up out of the way. Uh, these little tabs, slots right here are going to clip over this. So fold this up onto his back. Getting those tabs lined up can be a bit of a pain. For some reason, they just don't want to go in. You can also fold this down. There we go. We get those on. Bring the arms out to the side. There's a little tab here. When you're rotating them up, make sure you get this little tab here so it goes into the slot on the bottom here. Get his head back up. Again, use this neck joint for his head. Clip these panels up and around and tab them into where we had the treads tabbed in before. Like this. Bring his little dinosaur arms forward a little bit or down, however you want them to be displayed. And then you bring these down. Rotate the leg around so this comes around like this. Is that right? Hold on. Split the feet. You want like that, I think. Yeah. Because you want you want you want the tread to be sitting under this flat panel. So like that. Angle piece on the inside, bring this out, bring this forward. And then uh, put the hook back on up here. Actually, I think this one clips in so the two prongs are on the inside. He's got some little hingy legs. Double check that because I feel like this is supposed. Oh, it, it does. This bends. So you can bring this down kind of over his head. There you go. Push that back a little bit. So it comes through the, the stand. But yeah, he's a weird little raptor chickeny robot. And he is kind of. There he is, weird, dumpy little uh, chicken raptor something or other T-Rex teeny arms bot, which is weird, but at the same time, like, I do kind of dig that they went super unconventional with these guys, because they could have gone, they could have done these, he could have had two normal sized arms and two normal legs, but... Yeah, let's go weird. One of them pogo's, pogo jumps around. Hey, we got what we came for. Random constructing potch. So anyway, he also comes with a uh, the pyramid backdrop, uh, which you can kind of set him on there. Like, I mean, I guess if you, that's about as far as you can bend his feet. You can kind of get him to balance uh, on this thing if you let the backdrop angle back. Um, or I guess maybe if you have his feet hanging off. There we go. If you have his feet hanging off the edge, he can kind of display in front of the backdrop. Like that. But he gets the same pyramid backdrop that's going to be way too small for Devastator when about he comes about. Uh, instruction manual. And then here he is in robot mode with all of the current members of the team that are available. So we got two legs and half an arm, I guess most of an arm at this point. Um, and now we're waiting for the other arm, the head, and uh, the two bots that make up the torso. But a neat little figure, uh, an interesting design. I, I don't think anybody can argue that it's not interesting. Maybe like it or not, it's it's unique. Uh, so personally, like I said, I don't mind it. Because once, honestly, once they all get here, he's probably just going to combine in a Devastator and sit somewhere anyway. So, 
But anyway, there is Constructicon Hightower.